This Torah class is brought to you by TorahAnytime.com. Okay, good morning, everyone. I'm going to have Yomtif. So I know everybody is uh, busy today, but let's continue in the Torah. So Isis will try for Ois Chaf and perhaps part of um, Chaf Pshuta. We'll see how it goes. Let me get the Marmakoyma Ois. The diagrams, okay, here we go. Remember, Abezu Sashem on Tuesday, the author of the Paralach will be coming on to the Shir. So, um, if you want over Shavuos to review a little bit of what we learned, and we'll, we'll try to pepper him with a few questions, and I'm sure it'll be very interesting. Ois Chaf Kfufa, the bent over Chaf. And we're going to see something very interesting. The Chaf Pshuta, the long Chaf, is the same thing as a bent over Chaf, it's just straightened out, but it has to be long enough that if you wanted, you can make a chaf kafufa. Okay. Yichtevena agula. You should write it rounded. Okay. Like over here, it should be rounded here. Me'achrea, but behind it, shloi l'adama l'beiz. You don't want it to look like a beiz. V'tia agula me'achrea. It should be rounded behind it. Mi'beiz atzadim, from both sides. So it should be rounded on top and on bottom, and the airspace in between, the airspace in the middle, should be at least the width of a pen. Its face, meaning this part and this part, the face, it should be equal. One should not be thinner or thicker than the other. You don't want to make it, you don't want to shorten the width because then it won't look like a chaf, it will look like a nun. Kadesh letir kenun kfufa, so it doesn't look like a regular nun, a bent nun. Latina ikto chacham lep tipish to a regular child. Ayim be soisif alaf be shini oisva. Vim asala zavis meachareha. If you made a corner behind it, that means the top right hand side, you made a corner out of it. If you made a corner out of it, lamala above or lamata psula. It's puzzle. V'yesh makila and v'yesh lezavis mamala. Some are makal if it has the corner on the top. Why? Kivan she agula mata. Since it's circled below, it's round below. But kivan she milsa da iraisa. Now it's a machloikis. Some say puzzle. V'yesh makila is found in the base yoisa, but this is a din da iraisa. Tzach lahakmer kedei rishon the psula. So you say, okay, I'll scrape it. It ain't gonna help to scrape. Why? It's chatuchas. Well, y'all are taking an idea. Grab a chatuchas. Ella, here's the trick. Look at number sixteen. You round it on top. You add ink. I mean, it's a little bit of a hodgepodge job over here, but you're rounding it on top. So you're you're doing a ma'isa begufois. La asoisa agul em loy kasev adayin yoyse. If you didn't write more yet, kedei do loy lahavish loy kasidran. Because if you wrote more, it's gonna be shloy kasidran. The F sure it could be the Bezeshi Ishla Zavas Mala if it has a corner on top. Bagula Mamata. Imatina Kar Kilchasa Tsurasa Allah Mikri. It could be if the kid's going to read it like a chaf, even though it's puzzle, it's not going to be sure like a sidron because it basically has a tsurasa ois. It's just, it's puzzle. Yachala Sakna Batikan Hanal, Afshik Kasav Yoiser. Vein Bezemishim Shaloi Kasidron. By the way, and we could throw in. The Yesh Machshirin. Right? Anyway, Yesh Machilin, the Yesh Lozavas Mamala. So, first of all, there's the Yesh Machilin. And even according to the Yesh Machmirin, nevertheless, it could be Tsuras Allah, and therefore you could fix it by rounding it off after, and it's not Shalai Kisiran. Let's see if we could do the Ois Kaf Pshuta, the end of Chaf, the final Chaf. Says the Mishnah Soy from Ois Kaf Pshuta Ragla Araich. Its leg is long, the gaga cuts her, and its roof is short. So the roof here is three kolmasim, and it's one, two, three, four, at least five kolmasim down. Why? Shiloi sedam el reish. You don't want it to be like a reish. Right? Like over here in diagram one on the next page. Because if you make the top too long and the leg too short, it's going to look like a reish. You don't want to make it too short. You don't want it to make look like a long vav. 
oikonon pshuta, or an endonon. If you make the gag too short, it's going to look like a long vav or a endonon. Latinoik, the tipsa. Vachem lo yim shechoisa v'shoif hashita l'asoisa aruka klal. Therefore, you should not put it at the end of a line. Sometimes when you put a letter at the end of the line, they make it long to get to the end of the shura. Don't do that with the chaf. If you do that with the chaf, it's going to look like a reish. V'afagav, the cholo isis ein lamashchan, even though you're not supposed to make any letter long. I didn't realize that. I thought, you know, it's a hidur, you know, you make it, it looks nice. No, you're not supposed to make any letters long. But that's the mitzvah. Avon, but the yevet loy pasal, but the yevet doesn't pass. Avon, kapshuta, em herach gaga, shenir kareish pasal. Viem safig, marin latinoik, v'loy chachim, v'loy tibish. If it's a suffix, you show it to a kid who's not wise and not foolish. A regular kid. The cipher got to be super careful about this. You want to have the leg twice the size of the roof because basically there's no difference between an ender chaf and a regular chaf. It's just a regular chaf is bent over twice and an ender chaf is straight, but it has to be long enough that if you were to bend it over, it would... Be long enough. So that if you do bend it to Chalias Kafufa, it could be a bent over Chav. There's no difference in the length, just one is straight and one is bent. But if you would straighten it out, they would be equal. There are those who are Machmir and they pass if it's not long enough. I feel the Yevet. Who are they? The Taz. In your days in Reisha and Gimel, I in Sham Shekara lo Oisin as Soifrim Burim. The Taz says that a say, that a Soifer who doesn't make the end of Chaf long enough is a boor, an ignoramus. V'shas Soifer Tar Pasul B'Zeh. V'chein Kol Ab Shuta Yisricha Yislios Lechachila Kiflayim Min Agag Mitamze. All end the letters <coughs> need to be twice the size of the the leg has to be twice the size as the roof. Because I didn't realize this. The, the, the end of letter is the same as a bent letter. It's just the bent letter is bent. The end of letter takes it straight down. What if you did make this mistake and you elongated the roof of the chaf and you made it look like a reish? If you could basically just make a very, very long leg. So now like in diagram eight. So it's a long roof, it's a wide roof, but you'll make an even longer leg. Do that. The imlav, if not, yim chay kakal, you're going to have to erase everything because you're not going to be able to scrape the roof. That's going to be chak tu chais. If you're going to do like in diagram 10, if you're going to make an end of by scraping the roof, that's chak tu chais. Yim chay kakal, and some are lenient. They say you don't have to erase everything. You know what you could do? Erase the leg. Or the roof. Meaning either erase the whole leg or the whole roof. So again, we see here, like we saw last time, that you're able, you know, that there is a shita that maybe you don't, when a letter is puzzled, you don't have to erase everything. You just have to erase it that the letter is puzzled. We saw by Yud, you shouldn't do that. We saw earlier, Mandy wrote that, I have to look again, that you could do it. Here it sounds like it's machlikis, which might be the answer to our question. You know, that it's not Pashat. Pashtus, you might have to erase the whole thing. Why sometimes the Mishabro says to erase the whole, t- whole thing, and other times he gives you the option of erasing part of it, I'm not sure. Where, Mendy, did we see that uh, you you don't have to erase the whole thing? By the Yud, we saw you do. We saw earlier that you don't. By the hay, the elongated hay. By the hay? Okay. So you could just scrape the gut. You could, no, there you can even scrape the end of it, which is totally the opposite of what we're saying here. But by the cost of dollar, 
You don't have to scrape the whole thing. Okay, you wrote it down? You'll send it to me? Yeah, I did. I sent I sent okay. that. Okay. Okay, I got that. Fine. Viter. Eleven. Gam Sorah Hasoifer Lizar Shalayasa Lakhov Pshuta. Zavasamal. You have to make sure that, like in number eleven, you don't make it pointy in the top right hand corner. Elatia Agul Kamai Resh. It should be rounded like a resh. Bim Koifin Oisa. So that if you bend it, teyasa chaf kafufa, it would be a bent over chaf. But if there's going to be a corner in it, it's going to be basically a dalid. The imasul is also malik my dalid psura. The dina shetzach ligor kula. You have to erase the whole thing. Or you're going to have to add ink like in number thirteen. Okay. So you don't want to make the chaf pointed on top because then it's going to be basically a dalad. Now, the eights of zud haisafas diyai, this eights of adding ink mahani, afilu betfilin a mezuzais. The loy mikri shalai kesidran. Why? The koidem atikanamitzur's chaf shuta alau, chumavoy la elbasim lam and base of chaf sif chafin. It seems like adding ink would help because it still has the tsura of a chaf. It's not a dalad. Ach, in Ninsa be Kane be Sefer Torah be Eis Hakriya, Ein Lohitzi Acheres ki Eish Machshirin Baze. I am Prima Gadim Esim Kuf Mem Gimel over the very Hachayim be Lachos Prias Atayra. The Hechad Ika Machlekes Ben Apoiskim Ein Lohitzi Acheres. Whenever there's a Machlekes, you don't take out another. Kol Oisios Hakefulim the Aleph Beis. All. Doubled letters in the Aleph base. Meaning the the Mems, the Tzadi, the Chaf, the Pei, the Nun. You write the first one in the beginning of the word. Uve and Tsa were in the middle of the word. Va'achreinim and the end of the letters. V'soif v'mshina pasal. Okay, now we all know. The regular letters you write you know, in the beginning or the middle. The end of the letters go at the end. If you switch it around, it is possible. Okay, Rabbi, so we're going to hold it over here. I wish you all a wonderful Yom Tif. Baruch And Mendy, add this to the list where he brings down a Deya, a Yesh Makilin, that it's enough to erase the Regal or the Gag, but you don't have to erase the whole thing. How that fits into what we said before. Okay, Rabbi, say a wonderful Yom Tif. Baruch HaVatzlacha. Kaltov. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.